folks, this is all the fruit. I'm on the island of Gran Canaria. To be honest, I have no idea what this cucurbitaceae plant here is. I am above the village of La Aldea. The day is a bit gloomy as you can see, but they've had enough sun here in the last years. And this cucurbitaceae, I've seen it a couple times on the island, and since I didn't see fruit, I was always too lazy to identify it. Um, yeah, here among the greenhouses, well, over there you can see some really big plant growing up on one greenhouse. I guess here it got more fertilizer and probably more water, so it developed fruit earlier. Let's look at this plant. So the fruit, well, the leaves in this specimen are quite small. Usually all the ones I saw in the countryside were considerably bigger. The fruit are nice and big and beautiful. Well, the flowers are nice and big and beautiful, and the fruit basically look like teeny tiny watermelons. <laughs> watermelons with teeny tiny warts, very, very soft warts. I can hardly feel them. Well, all of the fruit here seem to be greenish. Even where the plant is, well, a lot of the plant hasn't got any fruit. Hmm. A lot of the fruit are kind of dried up. But the well-developed fruit I can see, they're all kind of greenish. Some have more words, some have less words. I don't know if this is the normal size. The, f the plant looks like it's in a lot of drought stress. One warning, folks, a lot of cucurbitaceae are really toxic, so I'll just taste this thing a little bit and spit it out. Don't try any unknown cucurbitaceae. I don't even want to guess what this is. I'm offline right now. I would try, I tried to Google it, but I failed. I don't know if those are ripe. I mean, they are, they are hard. Hmm. That's what the inside looks like. And the taste is bitter. Poof. Mm. Horribly bitter. There was some hint of cucumber in the flavor, but oh my, mm. well, sorry for all the spitting, but yeah, cucurbitaceae can be incredibly bitter, and those are. Since the fruit are hard and green, I don't even know if I got the ripe fruit, but no, they are all hard and green. Well, not much more I can say about this fruit, except that I should have researched it. A little bit earlier. I know this plant is growing all over the island, but since I didn't see any fruit, I was too lazy. Okay, folks, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of Gran Canaria. Well, and this not so beautiful uh, little road here with too many greenhouses. Don't eat unknown fruit, especially not unknown cucurbitaceae fruit. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.